For me, this is more than just a testimony. I got locked up for a long time, and I've thought long and hard about the hurt and pain I've caused you, Ma. I'm here to ask for your forgiveness. Hell no. Why would I expose my happy, well-adjusted kids to a woman? You said her nickname was Skillet, because when she beat you, she had a heavy hand. Oh, Skillet was cold. <laughs> Skillet was cold. Yeah, I'm going in. I'm going in. Are these were letters I wrote you from prison? You the mother to my kids, and you ain't read one? If it make you feel any better, I can read one now. Nope, I wrote this one asking you to send me some nasty pictures of yourself. Nope, I wrote this one because I was mad at you for not sending nasty pictures of yourself. Nope, this is naked pictures of myself. Who took that picture? Don't worry about it. Look, if you're gonna live here, you're gonna work. I just wanna open up some place where people could be happy with my food. That's my dream. You need to start your own restaurant. You know my money ain't long like that. What if the restaurant had wheels? You don't qualify for the loan? Run my credit. Sure, what's your social? Oh, yeah, yeah, this, this, this got a white last name on it. Oh, you want Jewish? Excuse you want, you want Jewish? I got you. Smickelson, come on, son. An ex-con making a contribution. My food is bringing all these people together. Second chance is a beautiful thing. This is what Brooklyn is all about. I'm in charge. That's me. <laughs> Look at you looking like a black geisha. Put your hands on oh. the dashboard now. A few bad apples doesn't ruin the bunch. Let's come up from a white dude. All cops are not bad. Let's come up from a black chick that married a white dude. And that's coming from a black ex-crack dealer who hates the police. Touche. That's coming from a person who has a cousin named Touche. 